And when it snows, we worry about the risk of driving on slippery roads and making sure the sidewalks are clear so people don't fall down. But snow and ice on your homes and roofs can also be very dangerous. WNY's Samantha Potter looked into how much snow it takes to damage a home and what can be done to prevent it. They're shoveling, scraping the ice off your car, the salt on the roads, but a big problem you might not think of is right above you. I think anytime you have a lot of snow and, and storm after storm, you have the potential for an issue. According to the Elmira Code Enforcement Director Rocco Piccarazzi, all it takes is 10 inches of snow to put stress on the roof and cause a collapse. Different factors, like if the house is older or newer and whether you have a flat roof or a sloped roof, affect the possibility of snow damage. Another thing to look out for is icicles. If you watch at the, at the roof line at the edge, there is a thickening, and that thickening will back up, and it gets underneath uh, the shingles and, and sometimes under even the sheathing. It's called an ice dam, and it could lead to water damage inside the home. Well, it could pull down the gutters or or something like that, but the weight of them could cause some damage. Which is why Picarazzi recommends hiring a professional to take them down to avoid damaging the roof. As for removing snow from your roof, it's suggested to hire a contractor or use a snow rake. Today, WENY called surrounding hardware stores and no place from Elmira to Corning currently has snow rakes in stock. We also called local roofing companies, building contractors, and landscaping businesses, but couldn't find anyone who removed snow from roofs. While we had no luck finding a snow rake, you can always buy them online. Chief Birmingham says however you choose to remove the snow, use a sturdy ladder and don't ever stand on the roof when it's covered in snow. Reporting in Horsehead, Samantha Potter, WENY News.